Brad, obviously your, your first main event here in the UFC, I think it's your 16th, 17th fight in the organization. Uh, Israel was in here earlier. He said you're only getting this opportunity because of him. He said you might be the blue corner, but he's the A side of this. Uh, what do you think about that? Hey, he can say and think whatever he wants to think. It doesn't bother me one way or another. Do you think you would have got this opportunity though if you weren't fighting, you know, this hyped prospect, this new guy coming in with the undefeated record? Do you think eventually, you know, UFC would have given you this chance to headline a card regardless of who it was against? Definitely. I think if Bisping wasn't retiring, I, I think that's the fight that would have happened, honestly. Um, you know, Bisping is getting older. He has some stuff to deal with. His family uh, probably not wanting him to, you know, fight already and whatnot. Um, but you, you think Bisping and me wouldn't headline a card? Crazy. Does this feel familiar to you? You run basically this exact same card last year. Uh... Yeah, yeah, kind of, I guess, yeah. It, yeah, I was, I was. It's, I've been on a few tough finales, I guess. It's interesting watching your demeanor when we talk about it, Izzy. You're almost amused in, in a way that you're obviously not bothered, but you're just almost amused by it, the way he carries himself. In my, is that right? Yeah, I am. I, I, I get a kick out of it. I mean, it, it's, it's one of two things. Um, maybe, a, maybe a mixture of both. Either one, he's extremely delusional, which that could be it. Or two, he's just one of those guys that needs to like tell himself over and over and over, like look at himself in the mirror and say, hey, you're the man, I, I'm, I'm the greatest, I can beat this guy. No, you, no, no, yeah, I'm gonna beat this guy. You know, he's, he's that guy. So I, I get a kick out of it. No matter what he does to prepare himself, no matter what he does to tell himself, whatever it is that helps him sleep at night, come July 6th, he's gonna have to be in that cage with me and all that talking and all his mental preparation or lack thereof is not gonna help him one way or another. So yeah, you're right, I, I do find it amusing. Um, every time somebody tells me, oh, this is what Israel said, I, I literally like, it just makes me laugh. So you're saying you, th you feel like he's almost trying to c convince himself? Um, yeah, it's either he's trying to convince himself or he's just extremely, extremely delusional. But he's been around the fight game a long time, so I'm gonna go with the latter and say that he's just trying to convince himself. Have you ever been in a fight that you've considered personal, like where you, you have real animosity towards somebody? Um, not in a UFC fight. <laughs> How much do you want to test his wrestling and his grappling abilities? Um, I, I don't know. I, I want to I wanna take it everywhere, you know? I want to show him that I'm the, I'm the superior fighter, and no matter where that is, striking, wrestling on the ground. So I see it going everywhere. What's this camp been like for you? I know the, there were a lot of kennels back home in Hawaii. So what was that like for you preparing during this camp and seeing the troubles back home? Um, I feel like, you know, like that, that is one thing. I'll say luckily for me, my family wasn't directly affected. There was a time where, um, so I, a little bit backstory. I'm from the Big Island. I'm from the Hilo side. I actually grew up in Volcano, which is about a mile, two miles away from the Volcanoes National Park. So that, hearing that, you know, that sounds really scary. Like, okay, you're, you live right there at the Volcanoes National Park. But uh, I don't know. I'm not a geography major or anything. But I think what it is is that we're, like, kind of above the volcano. And uh, so when it erupts and flows, whatever, it, it flows down. But there had never, in all the past years, even when we've had, like, lava scares and, and uh, this type of thing happening, there had never been, like, really activity near my house. And, and, and at one point, the highway that passes my house, which is only about half mile away from my actual house in Volcano, uh, the highway started cracking. Um, luckily, it wasn't a fissure. There was no volcanic activity, um, but it was scary. Uh, so yeah, at one point midway, I did go back home to make sure you know things were okay. And in, in the event that there had to be an evacuation or whatever, I, like, I wanted to be there, you know, help my mom and whatnot get the dogs out and the, the valuables. But uh, yeah, it, it, it really is sad what's happening right now. A lot of people losing their homes, their land, their property, um, a lot of their belongings, their life. Uh, and then not just that, even the people that are not affected by the actual uh, lava itself, the air quality is terrible. Uh, we took my daughter back home and she actually got sick, ended up getting like uh, very congested and that turned into an ear infection. So, you know, I'm really feeling for the people on the Big Island right now. And what's it like having the main event spotlight as part of International Fight Week? Oh, this is a this is huge for me, you know. Like like I've been saying, this is the closest thing we have to UFC Hawaii, uh, UFC Ninth Island, if you want to call it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, to get a main event spot on a on a weekend like this, 
uh, right here in my backyard. This is huge for me. Going He's only Angela, Alima, Ray Cooper tomorrow, you. That's four Hawaii fighters in main events in about seven weeks. What does that say about Hawaii mixed martial arts right now? Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I, I heard an uh, interview you did actually with Ilima, and you know, she said it, she called it Team Hawaii Week. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, sponsor that right there. Team Hawaii Week. The, the Hawaii wave continues. You know, we, we have a lot of talented young fighters up and coming. And uh, we're finally being able to hit the, the main stages, I feel like. For the longest time, it was just BJ, you know, really carrying that, that uh, the flag on his back. Um, and you had Kendall. And then now it's just an influx of us. And, and we have, you know, we have champions. We have Max Holloway. We have Ilima. So, um, it, yeah, Hawaii, Hawaii has always been there. Hawaii has always had great fighters, but now we're, we're just, you know, people are taking notice. All the, uh, the talk aside from Israel and everything, you've now gone through a training camp for him, you know, prepared, you have your game plan. Uh, is this guy, you know, justified all the hype he's getting, the promotional push? Do you think he's, you know, that good? What do you think about him just on paper as a fighter? Oh, uh, definitely not. Um, I would say if this was a kickboxing match, then well deserved. You know, he has he has his uh, his kickboxing credentials. Um, he's made a name for himself there. But as far as MMA goes, he's fought nobody um, outside of the UFC. He hasn't fought anybody inside the UFC. No disrespect, but he hasn't fought anybody that comes close to me. So, you know, he's gonna get. Uh, he asked for this. He's gonna get it. What did you think when he called? He called you out right away. After yeah. So what did you think? Uh, I heard it honestly, and it just went in one in one year out the other. Um, like I said, my focus was on Bisping. Uh, while Israel was calling me out, I was face to face calling Bisping out, and you know I really thought that fight was going to materialize. Bisping didn't have a fight um, in the past. He had agreed to fight me. This was back in 2012, so it's not like I'm somebody who you know he would never fight or whatever. Um, and I'm and as far as the Bisping fight went, I was willing to go wherever. If he wanted to do it in his hometown, in his home gym, I don't care. I, I would have went wherever, to, you know, to get that fight. But uh, so at first, yeah, like I said, in one year, out the other. And then uh, we tried to make that Bisping fight happen, and it wasn't happening. So, you know, Israel was next on the plate. So would you have entertained this if it wasn't a main event? Um, hey, I don't know. I don't know. Pro probably not. I, I think, you know, I think the slot of the fight, where the fight is happening, um, and the opportunity of the card, where I am on it, all that, et cetera, is more important than the opponent itself in this fight. With, with that said, though, I mean, maybe it's a better question for after the fight, but with Bisping, you're looking for your opportunity there, fight forward champion. Now you're giving Israel the opportunity, it's his chance. If you win this fight, are you expecting to get your opportunity to fight you know, someone higher up, a you know, big name where you can really move up? Uh, when I win this fight, I definitely expect to fight somebody that's going to catapult me up into title contention. You know, that's the fight that I wanted here. Uh, I cracked the top 10 with my last fight, and I think I'm sitting like at eight or something. Um, but yeah, that's the ultimate goal is to get to the championship. And uh, along the way, you have to fight these guys like Israel. But, you know, not every fight. Now, after I get through him, um, yeah, I'm looking onward and upward. I want somebody in the top five. Is there anybody in the top five you think you match up really favorably against? Um, I, I, to be honest, I don't. Be outside of like, uh, I think it's what Whitaker, Romero, and Jacare. maybe Jacare up there. Yeah. I'll gladly fight any Wyman. of them. Yeah. Uh, Wyman, yeah. Yes, but I, I, I haven't really like you know really looked at it. I've been really focused on this fight, um, and all due respect like I I I don't know I don't see Israel as a problem but I, I do respect them as far as an opponent goes you have to respect your opponents and uh, so I haven't really gotten to look you know past him yet I do know that I do want to fight somebody up there um, if I could get the the Whitaker or, or Romero fight back I mean I know Whitaker's a champion so it's probably not happening but if I could get one of those fights back I, I'd love the opportunity I mean, he is three fights in and already had this kind of opportunity. Is there anything at all that he's done so far that you've been impressed by? Anything? Nothing. Nothing. I'm impressed that he got this opportunity. That's about it. He sort of said that, like, when we asked him to break a fight down, he said, like, there's no way you're actually going to want to stand with him. So 
she can kind of predict where it was going to go. Um, how do you assess that? Same way I assess all the dumb shit he says. <laughs> a smile on my face. How much of an advantage is your UFC experience? You've been in the UFC for years, whereas he only made his debut in February and only has two fights in the UFC. Um, as far as actual UFC and octagon experience goes, yeah, I'm definitely more experienced. But you kind of look past his kickboxing uh, record. You know, he's been in there. I think he has what, like 60, 70 fights. Um, that in itself is experience. But that being said, those are all three rounds. You know, uh, sorry, three minute fights. And, and even the championship fights are, what, five threes or something? So that, that's 15 minutes. That's a normal fight for me. And uh, this is different. It's not kickboxing. This is MMA. You know, it goes everywhere. So, yeah, I definitely think I'm at an advantage there. You, you had that stretch where I think you won, like, eight decisions in a row or something and then obviously got the big finish in the last fight. Was that just, you know, something that happened? Did you do something differently? Have you turned a corner in your fight finishing ability? How would you gauge that? Nah, because I feel like, you know, I mean, I, I fought a lot of those tough guys, and I feel like even in those fights where it's like somebody that, you know, may have been finished before that I should have, but it's not like my power became anymore. You know, I've always had that knockout power in both of my hands, knees, feet, you know, or legs. So, uh, yeah, it's just, I, I just feel like as far as everything goes in my fight life, I should say, and, and that goes with my personal life as well. It's just coming together. And, uh, you know, I, I got to show that against Jocko and I got to finish there. So I'm not expecting anything less here in this fight. Israel said he was in favor of quarterback prizes with the stumps and the soccer kicks. He said that earlier today. What do you think of that? Oh, I've always been a huge fan of pride. You know, I've, I always loved pride. That's part of the reason why I fell in love with this sport is pride. Um, ultra aggressive. Uh, you know, I, I loved all of that. I, I, I've been on the receiving end of a soccer kick before. So, uh, yeah, that, that would be cool if we could fight Pride Roos. I would love it. What was that like to take a soccer kick? Um, I didn't even know I got kicked. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see it to it was in the Ultimate Fighter. And uh, I didn't see it till uh, maybe 12 weeks, 10 weeks, some, something like that. Some crazy amount of time later. Um, yeah, I got soccer kicked in the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, it was like a flash knockout. Soccer kicked straight across my face, uh, hit the ground, got right back up. Didn't even know what happened. You know, had Seth Bozinski telling me sorry. I'm like, for what? Is this in a training session? No, this is in a fight. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Uh, it was in a tough fight, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I had Tito and all his team and coaches saying, like, oh, he's faking it, this and that. And I'm like, faking what? <laughs> like, I have no clue. All I remember is walking back. I, I mean, I could feel like I was like a little bit like, I felt like a little bit weird, but no clue that what had just happened. And I remember walking back to my corner and John Hackleman just telling me, hey, like sit down. Like, you know, they had seen what just happened. Um, so I, okay, my coach said, sit down. And I got back there and I, and I felt fine. Like, I was like, what happened, you know? And then all oh, this pandemonium, like it's in the little tough gym uh, going crazy. And uh, anyway, it ended up being a DQ. I uh, had Tito and his coaches and his team talking shit and saying like, oh, I, I, I'm faking it, milking it, whatever. And I'm like, faking, milking what? Like, I don't even know. And you know, and they, they're telling me, oh no, you got kicked. And I'm like, did I get kicked? But uh, anyway, that night, the producers told me, they're like, hey, we watched it back. He's like, you got kicked square right across your chin, like right across your face. So, yeah, I can't really tell you what it was like because I don't really remember it. So, um, that, that was a long time ago. Uh, Chuck and Tito are going to be fighting again later this year. I saw that. What do you, what do you think about that? I, I honestly, I, I couldn't believe it. But I guess, you know, that fighting spirit never really dies. I, I feel like you see it all the time. These guys who step away. But, you know, I feel like there's always that itch. And I'm sure it'll be like that for me. I'm sure at some point I'll be like, you know, what? okay, I'm done. I'm tired of training camps and training and fighting and, and everything that goes with it. But I'm sure after a year, two years, whatever it is, I'll be in the gym and I'll be itchy to fight again. But uh, I'm going to go with, if you ask me for a prediction, I'm going to go with Chuck all the way, you know. <laughs> I've always, in all the previous fights, I picked Chuck and uh, I was on Team Liddell, so riding it all the way. How do you beat Izzy on Friday? Um, 
however I want to, honestly, however I want to. I really do believe that I'm the better fighter here. So wherever this fight goes, I'm winning. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, bro. That's great.